Hello there, you're very welcome back to the Ballsbridge Hotel. Hello everyone, if you're still out there. 53106 uh, is the text number. There are a few uh, texts in wondering who's going to win the All-Ireland this year, which we'll come to in just a second, you three. That's me, Ulamar Hurtig, Billy Keane and Kieran Donaghy. We are here for the launch, which has been going on all day, of the Lidl Ireland Commodus Pell Potty O'Shea Tournament in association with EJ Menswear, Kerry County Council Tourism Unit and Lee Strand Milk. It's now in its 30th year, the competition. It runs from the 15th to the 17th of February on the Dingle Peninsula. For more details, go to Potty O'Shea. Dot com. So our three Kerry men are still here, and I'm delighted to say we're joined by uh, Kildare legend, Dermot Early. Hello, sir. Dermot Early, everyone. Two Kildare men on stage. Yeah, he's been a backup yeah, now. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we have them surrounded. <laughs> Slowly but surely, we'll get them. It's like 98 all over again. <laughs> <laughs> so listen, you, I, I know you made a big effort to be here, and I'm sure you do, because uh, your father and Paddy O'Shea struck up a great friendship, and it extended to yeah. the Commodus Pell. So, so tell us about that. I mean, Paddy O'Shea and your yeah. father. Um, well, I, you know, I think they were going way, going way back um, towards the late 70s. Obviously, Ross Common were very strong um, and uh, they met Kerry qu quite, a, quite a good bit during that period and it culminated in the 1980 All Ireland final when Kerry won the three in a row. But um, they had marked each other a couple of times and uh, remained really good friends, you know, off the field as well. And um, even when both had retired, Poddy um, always had something going on down in Ventry. Um, and any time there was a panel or a radio, I think Rishi Fogarty actually did present um, a radio show from uh, Poddy's pub in, in Ventry, and Dad was invited down, and he always spoke highly of it. But um, back in, I think it was 2011, and it was a, a year after Dad had passed that I got a phone call, and uh, it was Poddy, and um, he just said, look, we're, we, we'd like to name the cup after your dad. Would you, be, would you be on for that? And I said, look, I said, absolutely, but I'll just, I'll just run it by, by Mam, of course, you know. Um, so I rang him back, and Mam was 100%, and uh, said, yeah, we'd, we'd be absolutely delighted. And Paddy said, <coughs> excuse me, um, well, would your mum like to come down and present the cup? And I said, of course you would. And he says, the only problem is we don't have a cup, you know. <laughs> <laughs> um, so would, <coughs> would the defence forces maybe sponsor a cup? <laughs> um, <laughs> And I said, uh, I, said I, I, I can't make that call, Paddy, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll put you in through. I, I told him whoever he had to call or whoever yeah. he had to write to request that. Uh, and in fairness, they did, and we have that, that wonderful cup that's, right. that's still there. But, um, you know, a few, a few weeks later then, I got another phone call from, from Paddy. He, he just he keep in touch and, and, right. and just tell you how things are going. He strikes um, me as the kind of person who, if he calls you, you never would, would have said, why are you calling me? You just, yeah. just start chatting, I just start, Exactly. Yeah. But it was funny because the calls would start at 7, 8, and they'd get later into the night as the, as the calls kind of came on. But he called what, this one particular time and asked them, um, you know, would it be possible to get the, the army band to play down in Benchy for the, <laughs> for, the, for, the, for the tournament as well? Um, and I said, that's probably a good idea. But again, I said, uh, you're going to have to put the request into the powers that be. Um, and sure enough, it, it was granted, and the army played for the first one anyway that, that was named after Dad. They played at um, after Mass in Ventry on the Sunday, and then they did the parade for the final and played the national anthem. So it was a really nice right, touch. Yeah. Um, but about a week before the, the Comartis, I got a phone call, and uh, it was half 12, and I looked at, my, I looked at, the, at, at the phone, and it was Potty, and he said, how are you, Dermot? I was just thinking here, and I think Billy, you mentioned he was a great thinker. Is this, is this half, <coughs> half, half past midday? or Half, half past 12 at night. Right, okay. <laughs> and uh, he said, uh, would it be possible to get the Navy ships into Ventry <laughs> Harbour? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, uh, I said, I don't think so, Paddy. <laughs> but that's the story. <laughs> And did you go down yourself? Have you been yeah, down? Yeah, we, we went down. We went down um, that one for the first one. Obviously, um, we had a great weekend. Actually, uh, Mam and um, my two sisters. I think uh, Paula and Anne Marie went down. Noel, who's here, um, is 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 going down to play with Sarsfields this year. Okay. But she was in Australia, so we went down. We had a brilliant weekend. We were really well looked after. And then maybe two years later, I was uh, part of the management team for the Defence Forces that went down and um, we went down on the Friday night and we said, we, you know, we're going down, we'll enjoy ourselves, but we want to win. 
So what does that mean? So, <laughs> so first of all, we, we got something to eat. We uh, popped up to Tommy Griffin's pub there in, in Dingle, had a pint there, and um, we said we'd go out to Ventry, we'd have two or three pints, and then we'd come back in and we'd be ready for the tournament tomorrow. Um, so we arrived out of Ventry and stood up, and it was about half nine, and Fergal Costello, who was the Mayo f footballer, yeah. he was the manager, and he stood up and he said, um, right, lads, it's half nine. The bus, with everybody on it, will be leaving at half 11. The bus left at half three. <laughs> <laughs> and that was the Friday night before a ball was kicked. So, you know, it, it, when you think about it, it was, it was real genius of Potty to bring this tournament down to Ventry, I suppose, yeah. you know, in the quieter parts of, of, of the year. Um, and, you know, you go down to Dingle, into Ventry, and the buzz and the atmosphere, and you're meeting people from all around Ireland and now with clubs from, you know, across the water as well. Um, it was just an absolutely brilliant idea. And going into parties and meeting all these people and looking at all the photographs that he has around the place, you could spend 20 minutes talking about every single one, and there's over, probably over 1,000 photos in there. It's just a fantastic weekend. Yeah. Um, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Did you actually think you were getting out of there at half eleven? Really? I would, to be honest, you know, in the army. Goal? Well, in the army, when you say something, you know, like, you say like, timing for, is very for important. Like yeah. Paddy, he managed to get Dolly Parton back there. <laughs> <laughs> he managed to get Tom Cruise. Yeah. What was his wife, uh, uh, What's the wife? Tom's wife's name? Nicole, Nicole Kidman. Kidman didn't speak to him for about three weeks afterwards. There. <laughs> and uh, the defence forces was no bother at all. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's, I mean, it's, it's, um, I'm sure it was important when it first started, Billy. It's ever more important now. Rural Ireland needs that kind of stuff going uh, on. You it's, know? it's way more than just the pub or, you know, Ventry. It's all over West Kerry. This, this thing brings life around the place. And unless we have people, you know, like Paddy and Padre Gog is continuing on now in the tradition, a different style. Uh, he, he's more, you know, more understated, but he still gets the work done. He has the passion, Shun and NASA. And, and um, you know, it's um, uh, uh, Mara, party, the party's wife, they're, they're incredible people. The welcome is still there. But you have to work so hard to keep the doors open. This is keeping the doors open and doing it with great style. And it's also benefiting the whole community. Every place is booked out. Like, can you imagine who else could fill up the whole of West Kerry, like in the <laughs> coldest, mm. most miserable time of the year. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a, there's a why I don't want to put anyone off coming down because there's no, there's no weekend like it you for bondage, indoors, for bondage <laughs> anywhere in <laughs> <on> the world. <laughs> and uh, it's just an incredible, but it's just, and that's, that's what we have to do. We have to work, work so hard, work for the community. Um, you should always put your community first and everything will follow on to you then personally from that. And that's what he did like, mm. and he, Nobody else would think of it, uh, to, to bring so many people. Yeah. 44 teams coming from all <coughs> over the place. And it's, 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 they all say that was the year we won the county championship. We had a great weekend. It all started in Ventry. We got going. We had a bit of fun. We had a few laughs. We got stuck in. And that was the year we won the county championship. There's so many teams that have come back and said that afterwards. Mm. Yeah. It's funny when you were saying about the, um, you know, the time of year and the wind and the rain and everything. I remember being out in Galleris for the final which is right on the Atlantic, and you can feel the spray of the ocean coming over the stand. <laughs> and we were getting ready for the warm-up for the final, and I was trying to put down cones. And as soon as I put the cone down, it was just flying <laughs> off into that. And I remember thinking well, to myself... There's no time of the year to be <laughs> But I, I just remember thinking well, to myself... It's in February. You know? I said, uh, no wonder these Kerry lads can kick straight. Yeah. You know? that's, the, that's the thing. Sure, it's the part wind. of it. Yeah. The wind. Uh, Michal, there's a text in from a listener. Sadly, he, he or she doesn't put um, the name to the text. He says, uh, Miola Murhertig was my accounting teacher in the 1960s. I owe my life's career to him. Many thanks and take care. I didn't, did you teach accounting as well? Yeah, I did, yes. Right, OK. In, o in, in O'Connell's <laughs> school. Time. In your <laughs> spare time. I was in in, in O'Connell's school. I was teaching at that time. OK. And did you, you no. left the teaching in the 80s, I think, didn't you? Uh, I think 80 or 81. And did you enjoy Up it? Up to then, there weren't sufficient games on yeah. being covered over weekends that it to be full that you time. could be full time yeah. but the moment the change came I left and did you was it a tough decision to leave or were you happy enough to get well it? I I loved being in the company of young people I think it keeps you young yeah you think like them 
you know, when they were 16, 17, going on towards the Leaving Cert and all that, and uh, they, were great, they were great fun, you know. Mm. And, you know, we had fun at the teaching as well, and, uh, and he didn't put his name. No, he didn't, mm -hmm. unfortunately. If you could text back in quickly, we'll, we'll read the name. I remember one year now, but uh, I'm a great believer in Molanoia Augustukashi, praise the youth, and they will respond. And I got the reverse of that one time. Now, in O'Connell School that time, they had five levels. They had two, over a 1,000 in the school. And they'd be, doing the leave themselves now, they'd be the A class, the B class, the C class, the D class, and the E class. Now, it, it rotated, you know, which one you'd have for whatever subject. I had the E crowd one. And they were, I did a little survey one day about, I had done it with the A's one year as well, how much money they had saved. The E fellas had a lot more money saved than those in the A, the bright fellas. But I remember sending home one time the Christmas results, Christmas exams. Parents loved that. And this guy, Some he, got, <laughs> he got first place. Now, it was six E, sort E. He came back then, I said to him, I'm sure your parents were very proud to find out you got first place in the class. Well, my father said, may the Lord look down on the fella that got last in that class. <laughs> 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 and, uh, that, that was the, that was the, uh, the end of Molinoy for oh, him. Oh, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. Uh, right, great. Well, someone's texted it anyway. They, they have fond memories of you teaching them. Um, so can I, guess I tell you a funny story? <laughs> yes, of course I can. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's about again when I was teaching, they went away on a retreat every year. You know, the scholars that took different times. And there was some teacher responsible for the behavior in, in whatever class. Whatever class I had, they went on a retreat down to Offaly. It was a former convent, but some nuns were still living there. Monday morning early, when they came back after the weekend there, the principal came in to me, the, the superior, and he was very worried. I'm afraid I have bad news for you. They caused havoc down. You investigate. And then I started investigating. Apparently, they had brought drink. To me, it was harmless, really. <laughs> After they going, they brought drink in with them, not much. <laughs> <laughs> and then, once the lights were out, they all came very quietly to one cube. Right. And they had a hell of a noise there, but uh, it woke the nuns sooner than they'd expect to be one. <laughs> and twas they got in touch with the school in the morning, oh, it was terrible behaviour, you and what. So I said, to, oh, lads, now we'll start them. I won't name, it was a Christian brother that was driving a minibus, and they were all. <laughs> and we were as far as Eden Derry, and he said, God, we're a bit early, we'll be too early. Drop in there, I'd like a drink of water or something. They went into a pub. <laughs> And the brother had a few drinks, and some of them had a few. <laughs> so um, then proceeded then. So my report was, it was a, a failing, I didn't say what, it was a natural failing from the driver of the bus. They're completely innocent. <laughs> <laughs> they were led into it. I'm sure they'll be regretting it for the rest of their lives. <laughs> <laughs> and I told the soap here, they look right, a nice letter to the Reverend Mother and said they didn't do any damage or anything like that, but uh, investigate. It was the only investigation I ever carried out. <laughs> <laughs> Came up with a positive result. <laughs> yes, it did. I'm sure they were happy. Uh, Dermot Early, you've left your, um, I mean, were you there for a year with the GPA? Yeah, yeah I was there for a year. Um, was lucky enough um, to get a leave of absence from the army. Um, and were you always going to go back, or was it a see how it goes? Uh, kind well, of a look, thing, it was. A, I suppose. Look, you take a you take a, a bit of a, a leap. Um, yeah. I said I'd see how it goes. Um, but you know, I, I suppose I, I, at this particular time in my life, you know, the, the defence forces is is where I, where I'm, I'm, I'm happiest, right. and um, I, I'm, I'm enjoying being back. Um, you know, it's a it's a great career for. For anybody that's that's into physical fitness and keeping fit, uh, among a load of other things, but um, 
I'm, I'm very happy. I'm down on the current now. I'm on my command and staff course, which uh, is a course that we have to do to go forward to be qualified uh, to go for promotion to the next rank. So okay. um, I'm enjoying that at the moment, doing a master's through anyway, I'm new as well, through that. So. Right, very good. Uh, and Dermot was a key figure, the 98 final. In oh, right. well, let's, let's not Played a wonderful game and towards the end of let's the game. Let's not dig that up, Neil. <laughs> 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 you know, what we, are you doing that we for? We could talk about the semi-final. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know whether you <laughs> remember. The goal was offside. <laughs> 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 you possibly remember it. Towards the end, you had a great shot. It was deflected to be a certain goal, only deflecting and going just over the bar. Declan Mead, yes. Yeah, oh, you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah. And shortly afterwards, your kick hit the upright yeah. and rebounded to a bar. Inches. Shin. <laughs> but th Jeez. that's the way it went back. <laughs> 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 I, I, I remember we'll talk, every... We'll talk afterwards. Dry up your tears. <laughs> <laughs> man up a small bit. <laughs> what did you bring that up for? <laughs> No, but uh, I remember every bit of that and most matches, you know, that I brought. I'd remember a lot about them, but they were, the, the match hinged on those. Well, Another day they'd yeah. go in. But it was a great time for Kildare football. It was um, great. With, with, with Nico yeah. um, at the helm um, and just, I suppose, winning Leinster that year was, was massive for the county. And winning And Joe, you're, as a Kildare man, I'm sure I you were. I remember it. The, the, yeah. were, the, the, the place lost its mind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was terrific. Great times. Yeah. Yeah, that no, was. What was I talking to you about? Oh, the GPA, yeah. briefly. Yeah, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I was just... <laughs> uh, did you enjoy it, not enjoy it? Because uh, of late, the GPA has a lot of bad press and mm -hmm. criticisms and it's lost touch, and I presume you're trying to get a different message out. What kind of, what kind of yeah, period was it for you? No, absolutely. I enjoyed it. I, like, I knew the GPA. I'd been president of the association yeah. since 2013, so I knew what I was getting myself into. Um, and, and you're right, the, the GPA, I suppose one of the, the, the biggest issues that I found, and I'm sure Desi Farrell found it, and I'm sure Paul Flynn is going to find it as well, um, you know, is, is communicating the message as to what exactly we do. And that, not just to the wider audience, yeah. but also to our own players. Right. Every player is a member, but not every player realizes exactly what the GPA can do for them. Okay. Um, so if you're struggling there, um, I suppose, and that's because of the turnover of players that happen, the new pounds come in. Mm. Um, you'd love to see, and I know that, that, that all those involved in the GPA would love to see more players take up the programmes, because the programmes are indeed life-changing life for, for people. Um, but, uh, yeah, communication is always, it, it, it's always going to be an issue, um, yeah, getting the message out. And I think it will, it will, it will, we will we'll always kind of struggle in yeah. that sense. Well, maybe pop into us another time when it's uh, in the studio and give us your experience yeah. of the year. It sounds like you're a busy man. Now, before uh, you go, and we are here with... And Michal and Billy and Kieran and Dermot Early. Um, the All Ireland this year, there's a five in a row on the horizon potentially. As the honest broker here, who's going to stop Dublin? I have a funny feeling that Mayo are going to come back with a bang this year. Um, for some reason, um, you know, the way to history is, is huge. I, I, I know you can say, what, what, what are you talking about? Like, have you seen this Dublin team? Yes, I have seen this Dublin team, and they are a fantastic team. But history has a funny way of, of repeating itself. Um, and we saw that brilliant documentary over mm. the Christmas. I think it was the prayers of the faithful, and Michal mentioned Seamus Darby's goal. Mayo just, you know, maybe the year, that little bit of a break. Um, James Horan. I think they're yeah. the team that can beat Dublin. Okay. And Kerry will come back. They always will, and they will beat Dublin again. But maybe this, this year, there's one last fight, and I think this Mayo team, and I think we'll see it later okay. on the year. Kieran Donaghy, who's going to win the All-Ireland? Dublin. <laughs> That's what you asked me who do I think is going to win the All Ireland again. Do you want do you want an explanation? No, I don't think we need one to be honest. Really, I think it's 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 self-explanatory. Billy, I can't understand how Kieran came up, but that concludes. <laughs> <laughs> um, I I agree with you about Mayo. I think Mayo have a right chance this year. They've had a year off. For Mayo to win the All Ireland, they're going to have to beat Galway because if they start going on the road and you're playing matches away from Newbridge or nowhere. It's anything can happen. Mm. So it's a bit like the FA Cup in that way. Um, I think if Mayo beat Galway, they go very, very close this year. But you'd have to say Dublin. And, you know, Kerry have a tradition of just coming out from nowhere and winning all Ireland. They're a young team. We don't know how good they are. Uh, his successor, that Clifford lad, he's, he, he's, he's Donny, he's like child. Donny has adopted him, you know. They <laughs> love each other. They, 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 he's spoken to him and he has the Kerry that real carry thing, he's kind of 
the fire, and there's a lot of great young lads coming through. There's three lads from a club near us, Bally who just moved in to train, and they're great lads. So I wouldn't write us off, but it, it has to be Dublin. Um, yeah. They are, and, and you know, I, I'm going to say it just once, I won't say it anymore, but they are, they are, without a doubt, when you talk about the great teams of all time, they're definitely the second best team of all time. Yeah. <laughs> I think the Super 8s, is, I think, will ha has a big part to play because they're going to win Leinster. They're going to get into Super 8s. You know, we lost a few big quarterfinals. You know, it's a time you can get caught yeah, by yeah. a team coming through the back door. Um, that can't happen anymore. You might lose one game, but if that happens to Dublin, they'll go win the other two, probably two of them in Crow Park. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and, then, and, then, and then they're in a semi-final and I think once they're in a semi-final after being tested three good games in the Super 8s mm. they will be tested there a bit a bit more than they would in Leinster I think they're, you know, they're, two, they're, they're 140 minutes away and I think the pressure slightly off them with the fact that you know, Kerry tried to do it and this Kilkenny hurling team tried to do it and came up short so you know, I, I think the actual pressure's off them a bit, the fact that, you know, these two teams, who are great teams, didn't do it. Yeah. So, look, if we don't do it, we're still going to be a great team, but if we do it, we're, yeah. we're, we're the best team ever. So that's, the, that's a big uh, prize to have. Final word to you, Mayol. Who's going to win the All Ireland? There's a lot in what they said about Mayo. James Horden was manager when they got a great lift, and they played exceptionally well in All Ireland finals. While he was there, they didn't win any. He's back now. He knows a lot of the players. They know him. That's a great start. But um, looking at Dublin, Dublin did not win in All Ireland in a year ending in nine for the past 120 years. Oh, we're okay. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. That's a great Hundred relief, Bill. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. 120 <laughs> years since they won in a year ending in nine. <laughs> they really only played twice more in nine. They have a very bad record in nine. <laughs> so history does repeat itself. Okay. You never know. Are you any good at a lot of numbers? <laughs> 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 so it will be maybe a team I'd keep an eye on as Donegal. Okay. But I'd still go for, for Mayo winning. Okay, great. They'll be delighted to hear that. Yeah, you know, the, ni the nine. They'll be waking up all the year now. Nine. You're nine. <laughs> <laughs> and be nine Billy, in will like <laughs> <coughs> Billy will like this. Kerry have won seven in years ending in nine. Right, okay. You, seven. Heard, it, you heard it here first. Um, <laughs> listen, uh, we, it's been just great <coughs> spending time with you all. Loads of messages coming in from people saying they've enjoyed it. So thanks so much for giving up your time. Uh, Dermot Early, Kieran Donaghy, Billy Keane, and of course, Mihola Murher to Gabriel. <laughs>